In this video, I'm gonna give you six tips on how to ask for help. Yes, ask for help. Even if you've got one day experience, if you've just started development, you've just started coding, or you've got 15 years experience like me, you still need to ask for help. Code and tech is changing all the time. There's always new things to learn. That's why it's so exciting. That's why it's so great. Every now and then, we all need to ask for help. Tip number one, what are you trying to do? Explain really simply and clearly the goal you're trying to do. Don't have it really broad. Don't say, I'm trying to build an app. Try and say something you're specifically trying to do. Tip number two, if you've got an error, share the error. Not the first line of the error, not the last line of the error. Share the full error. When you take a screenshot, don't share a screenshot of a small part of the screen. Include the URL that you're going to, include everything. Tip number three, what have you tried? It's really important for you to explain and show what have you have tried. Say, I've tried A, it didn't work. I've tried B and I got this. I tried C and this is the problem I had. Therefore, the person you're asking for help knows that you've not only tried, but you're narrowing down the problem for them and that might give them a tip on, on how to fix it, how to help you more quickly. Tip number four leads on from number three. This might help you identify what you think the problem is. Do say, I think the problem in this, is in this area of the code. If you can narrow it down to a few lines or to a function or to a file or a class, then that will really help. And it will show the person that you're asking that you really have tried. The most important tip, demo it. If you can do a screen share, a video, a screenshot, share as much information as you can and easy resources of how to do that user journey. Do a bullet point list. Step one, I logged in. Step two, I clicked on this. Step three, I did this. And here's the screenshot of what happened. Make it as easy as possible for the person you're asking for help so they can help you. There's nothing worse than someone saying, I've got a problem. I've got an error, it doesn't work. And then the other person has to go, well, what are you doing to get the error? And this conversation goes on for ages to just try and identify what the problem is. Make it as easy as possible for the person helping you to help you. Make it really clear. Show them the journey you've taken. Take videos of your screens if you're remote. If you're next to each other, pair on the same computer. And only give the information that is useful. The amount of times people ask and say, well, I was sitting at home on my laptop with my lap on my lap, the dog was next to me, it was raining outside. That doesn't help. What were you doing on the computer? I don't need to know who was next to you. I don't need to know what the weather was like. I need to know what you did to get to that and the full error that you got. Don't forget to leave a comment below with your tips on how to ask for help. Share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and support my channel.